What's up, Legions? While well, Lenovo's at it again with communicating to us about the latest with the Lenovo Legion Go. In today's video, Ben Myers gave us a beta for the V28 BIOS, and he also gave us a VGA driver beta. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually install these, and I'll show you guys the changes that comes with it. So if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. All right, so to get started, this is for the BIOS V28 beta. So I'm gonna post this link in the description so you guys can get it. So again, you just wanna hit download here. It's gonna install for you right here. So once it's downloaded, you want to go to the folder where it downloaded here. You wanna open it up and you wanna just extract it. So we're gonna to go to download. This is it here. Hit this button right here and just click extract all and it should extract it like you're seeing right here. So once it's done extracting, all you have to do is just double click this twice and it should install it. I have it installed. You want to go to more info here and click run away. So once you do that, it then installs it and it does the magic work. So that is how you install the BIOS. So to install the VGA drivers, the same thing here. He provides us with a link here. So we just click it. It's it's gonna take a little bit to install like you seen right here download I mean right here so once it's done downloading because I already have it downloaded you're gonna see this folder here same thing you're gonna need to extract it go to extract all once you extract it you're gonna get this folder here called AMD GFTX so so then you're gonna open it like this so the most important thing here is you're gonna need to run this file as admin so just hold the trackpad as you see right here run this admin so once you do this it's going to take a little bit it's going to take you to a black screen and it's going to run some different command props i have mine installed but it's going to take a little bit i would say two minutes maybe more than that but once you do so all you have to do is open the amd software and you should be cut up to the latest bias which is 11.7 as you guys have seen here so this shows that you have the latest driver installed amd driver so that's how you know that you have installed but that is how you install it's pretty simple just follow what i showed you guys so now let me show you guys some of the changes that comes with it i would say the biggest one it looks like the fps tracker is fixed as you can see here with cyberpunk if i was to hit the legion space button here and if i was to go to to performance here if i was to hit all here we should be able to now see the fps track in the game like cyberpunk right so as you can see fps is 41 36 you see the fps counter now is working on game so that's pretty cool all right so next we're going to go to the bios and i'm going to show you guys some changes with the bios so as you can see here this is the bios we're going to go to bios setup here we're going to go to more settings here and then if we go to configuration, you'll see six gigs is now available as an option to choose. Again, you have three, four, six, and eight now. And lastly, for the select thermal, they have stamp and uh, as you can see, SST is still here as well. So those are the two changes that we're noticing here. Let us know if you guys are finding anything different with the new BIOS and the new AMD drivers installed. But this is pretty cool. Again, it shows that Lenovo's listen to communities. Pretty incredible how quick they're updating this device. And I will have to say performance is improving with this device. But yeah, appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time, peace out.